I'm doing a do-it-yourself pool party with your friends kind of video. So I'll be showing you guys how to make some super yummy treats, a really cute swim cover-up, and also these really cool like fairy lights, which would be great for night swimming. I filmed this with my super cute friends, so thank you guys so much for helping me out with this video. It is officially summer for me, and I'm about to be making some super cool videos, so you should definitely subscribe because I know you're going to tell yourself that you're going to do super awesome things in the summer, but let's just face it, you're just going to binge watch YouTube videos, so you might as well subscribe right yes might as well that is everything i have to say so we're gonna go ahead and get into this video no First, we will be starting off with this tie-dye cover-up that I have seen all over Pinterest and it's super easy and cute So all you're gonna need is an oversized white t-shirt Some tie-dye I used red yellow and blue, but you can use whatever colors you want and then some fabric scissors I'm pinching the center of the shirt and creating a swirl for the tie-dye effect and then I'm going in with six rubber bands and tying that around to secure the little knot. And then I'm going in tie-dyeing and I didn't really want to mix the colors but they ended up mixing so I would suggest not letting them mix so they'd be pretty but yeah mine just happened to kind of be all the colors of the rainbow but that's okay. Then you just let the shirt sit for eight hours. Looks like after the shirt has sat for eight hours, you just wash it, and I did mine on cold and medium water level. So to start the cutting, all you do is cut off the sleeves as if you were making a muscle tank, then flip the shirt over and create a racer back. I just kind of drew a semicircle and then use this as a pattern for the other side so they were even. Then I flip the shirt over and cut off the collar just where the seam was at. And then I flipped the shirt back around and did a straight line about an inch below the neckline. And then I cut three equal strips and braided those. Then I just sewed the three pieces together, but I wanted to sew it on a sewing machine, so I didn't actually film myself doing it. And then I sewed it to the top in the middle below the neckline. And then I sewed a little piece over to cover up all the seams. And that's it for the cover up. It's super cute and really inexpensive. To start off the treats, we are making some watermelon kiwi popsicles. For this, you're going to need some kiwis, some cubed watermelon, and then some sugar. So we're starting off by making a syrup by adding a cup of water and then two tablespoons of sugar and then letting the sugar dissolve. And then I'm putting in three cups of watermelon into the blender until it's blended completely. I'd recommend using a juicer though so it's not lumpy. And then I'm just putting this into the popsicle molds about two thirds, but I went a little bit overboard. And after that sits for an hour, just cut your kiwis up. I'm actually very bad at cutting kiwis, so no judgment guys, no judgment. Then I'm just blending those up again and adding two tablespoons of the syrup. And then I'm putting about a third of the kiwi into the top. And that is how you make these popsicles and they're super yummy and I suggest making them. For the next popsicles, we're making some yogurt blueberry strawberry pops. So you're going to need some paper Dixie cups, some yogurt, I use vanilla yogurt, some blueberries, and some strawberries. So I'm starting off by cutting the strawberries and you want to create a little slit in the middle of them so the popsicle stick can fit in there. So first you're going to put in the yogurt and then the blueberries and then a little bit more yogurt and then the strawberry and then the stick and then top it off with the yogurt. So I just did this for about 10 of the popsicles. Then I just let these sit overnight and voila, you have some nice yummy treats. So the last food item we are making are these super yummy banana Nutella sushi rolls. So for this, all you're going to need is some Nutella, some bananas, and then some wheat wraps. I'm starting off by coating the wheat wrap with the Nutella and doing a pretty generous layer. And then I'm putting the banana on and kind of rolling it, which is actually very satisfying. And I really liked rolling them. And then I just cut them into about two inch little sections, maybe more an inch. And yeah, that's it. They are so yummy. And guys, they're really good for breakfast too. 
Lastly, we are making these glow up jars, which are great for night swimming or night pool parties. So all you're gonna need is some mason jars, some glow sticks, and some glitter. So all I'm doing is cutting the glow stick and pouring out the glow stuff, but make sure you have non-toxic glow sticks um, just to be safe. And then I'm just doing this with whatever colors I like. And then I'm adding the glitter and shaking it all up. And then you get this really cool glow jars. They're so easy, guys, and they are super, super pretty to put outside. That is everything that I have to show you guys, and I really hope you liked this video. Definitely give it a like if you did, because that shows me that you liked it. If you try out anything in this video, definitely follow me on Twitter and Instagram and show it to me, because I love to see. And also go ahead and watch my last video, which I believe was a Q&A. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios!